the European Union is right now conducting a survey about their banning of chemicals in order to prevent terrorism. I've got a rather strong opinion that it is rather counterproductive to do so. If you already agree with me on that, you basically don't have to watch this video and you can just sign the petition that I linked down in the description of this video. Or if you are really motivated, fill out the feedback form by the European Union also linked down in the description. In order to explain why I think it is completely idiotic to ban chemicals in order to prevent terrorism, let me sum up what the EU is banning and what their arguments are. Basically what the European Union is saying is that terrorists are capable of performing chemical terrorist attacks and the easier available certain chemicals are, the easier it is for them to perform these attacks. So far I agree 100%. As an example, they cite the poisoning of Sergei and Yulia Skripal on May 2018 using the chemical nerve agent Novichok. This is a completely preposterous example in my opinion, because no one would argue that Novichok nerve agent should be made available to the general public. But they use that to justify the banning of chemicals like cyanides, hypochlorides, phosphides and metal sulfides. All those chemicals have never been used effectively as a chemical weapon. I mean why don't you deliver examples of terrorism attacks that have used the chemicals that you want to ban? My guess is because there are none. I certainly couldn't find any. They further state that you need a low level of technical skill to stage an attack with these. Now this statement is completely stupid in my opinion because there isn't a single successful reported terrorist attack with any of these chemicals that I could find. Further, if you read up on chemical weapons, they have never proved to be effective in the past. The truth is that it is basically impossible to use these chemicals as an effective means of killing people. To elaborate their argument, they say that chemical terrorism has killed 1019 people since 1970 and injured 14,027 people worldwide. I know this sounds like a lot of death and suffering and it certainly is. However, we really need to put these numbers into perspective. 1,019 people killed in 52 years worldwide just states how insignificant chemical terrorism really is. For example, road traffic accidents kill more than a million people every year according to the World Health Organization. Does that mean we should ban road traffic? Compare that to chemical terrorism that kills about 20 people per year. More people die from being struck by lightning per year than from chemical terrorism. Alcohol kills over 3 million people every year according to the WHO. That's 5.3% of all deaths. Why don't you try banning that? Besides that, the US already tried banning alcohol and it worked in the short term to reduce consumption but in the long term consumption actually increased and the black market was strengthened. I guess you can make your own conclusions from that. Not only is there no noteworthy problem of chemical terrorism to start with but the solutions you are suggesting are not only counterproductive but they are causing a lot of foreseen and unforeseen problems. As further evidence for the big threat of chemical terrorism, they provide what they have read on social media, online terrorism fora and the Russian invasion of Ukraine. At this point I don't even know what all of this has to do with banning chemicals. Like Putin's invasion could be stopped if the European Union would forbid him to use chemicals. I have no idea what point they are trying to make with these closing statements. If you don't believe my summary, you can read it yourself, the link is in the description. But now we get to the most important part of the video. The European Union has already banned concentrated nitric and sulfuric acid and concentrated hydrogen peroxide. That means battery acid is now illegal to own. Also pool pH minus is illegal now. It also means that private individuals can't legally perform experiments like the elephant's toothpaste reaction anymore. The last one might seem like a silly example, but it isn't silly at all in my opinion. 
because experiments like that really help to get young people excited about science. And that is really important in my view for the future of our society and mankind. However, if you make so many chemicals illegal and hard to get, it becomes harder and harder to nurture the scientific interest of young people. Also, who knows how many innovations made by hobby chemists or other hobby science you've already smothered by making it so hard to get certain chemicals. God only knows. And how many terrorism attacks have you prevented by banning chemicals? Most definitely none. You can just as easily perform a terrorist attack with a bottle of propane or with a car. And why do you not ban that? Because propane bottles and cars are really useful to a lot of people. It's the same for chemicals. They can be used productively or they can be used to harm somebody. Just like knives. It is by no means a justification to ban something just because it can be used to hurt someone. What about pillows that can be used to suffocate people? Should we ban these too while we're at it? Also, with the help of a little electricity, it is easily possible to turn water into highly explosive HHO gas or air into nitrites and therefore gunpowder using the Birkeland Ida process. So from the point of view of a chemist, you basically need to ban everything, especially air and water, if you effectively want to prevent people from performing terrorist attacks. And good luck with that. Also, trying to ban metal sulfides is extremely stupid in my opinion, because they are trivial to make. You just mix metal powder with elemental sulfur and light it. Good luck trying to ban that. Besides that, since when do terrorists care about what is legal or illegal? The people most negatively affected by these laws are the most productive members of our society. Now let's sum up where I agree with the European Union and where I disagree. In my opinion, it is really important that certain uses of chemicals are banned. For example, the use of tetraethyl lead in gasoline or the use of chlorofluorocarbons in refrigerants. Also, chemicals that are exclusively made for chemical warfare, like VX gas, xerine, taboon, and stuff like that, should definitely not be easily available. But banning basic chemicals, like hydrogen peroxide, sulfuric acid, or hypochlorides, in order to prevent terrorism, is just a terrible idea beyond belief as I hopefully clearly demonstrated in this video. And it probably causes a lot more harm than you can imagine. So in order to make this clear to the people working in the European Union, I really need your help. If you are really motivated, I would like you to use the link in the descriptions to fill out the feedback form from the European Union and tell them exactly why it is such a terrible idea to ban chemicals in order to prevent terrorism. Now, if you don't have time for that, I would at least ask you to sign the petition that I made that the EU should stop banning basic chemicals. If we get a lot of signatures for that, it would certainly help. Besides that, I would love to hear your opinion about that in the comments. Did I miss an important argument? Is there something else that's relevant that I didn't consider? Please let me know. It is really important that you take action right now because our future depends on it. Thanks a lot for watching.